Hey Bears, Eric here, and get ready, hot new hate campaign just dropped on deck for the Star Wars Disney Plus show, Tales of the Empire. I'm not really surprised. Pretty much anything that comes out from Star Wars, I'm expecting a certain subset of the fandom to just be outraged by it. It's it's just the new thing they do. There's no, this is why it's a predictable like grift. We, we talk about this quite often, is that they're just going to be mad about it, no matter what. No matter what, it's just, it's like, I just expect it's going to happen because this is the the case for Star Wars right now. Um, it's kind of becoming the case for a lot of fandoms where there's just a certain small pocket of those communities that genuinely just waits around to hate on it. Let's just be clear. So a little backstory on all of this before we talk about, I got two things I want to talk about here. One of them is on the screen right now, but a little backstory. There's a non-binary character in Tales of the Empire, and this character is referred to casually in conversation as they, them, right? So that is the uh, the pronouns used for that character. Now, one of the metrics or one of the expectations, one of the things I heard from arguments and people, because I actively go out and engage with people who do not think the same way I do. And I do this because I have a thick skin and I realize a lot of people don't want to do that. They don't want to put themselves in a position to be harassed, hurt, harmed, however you want to put it. And I just feel like it's like, I like going out and sort of gauging where people are on this stuff. I like to be well-informed. And so I like to go out and definitely put my stamp and my mark in all the communities I possibly can, because I think it's important. If we're going to make change, we have to sometimes like cross the aisle. Um, doesn't mean you agree with them. Doesn't mean you agree with them. We have Libs of TikTok here um, whose entire existence is to harass people. There's nothing good or positive provided by Libs of TikTok. I just want to put that out there for anybody who may be a little bit confused about what they do. There's that interview with Chaya now that's become extremely, like, like it became a big internet meme. Um, but here's what they say about this. They go, new Star Wars show on Disney Plus, Tales of the Empire, features a non-binary character that uses they, them pronouns. Now, again, one of the metrics on this was that um, they people didn't want to be preached to, right? They didn't want to have conversations about it. They didn't want to be told they were bad for using the wrong pronouns. They didn't want to be made to feel like they were doing something wrong because they don't necessarily agree with some of the more progressive and liberal ideas. But that's not what's happening here. Okay, let's be very clear. That's not what's happening here. What's happening here is the character's non-binary and in conversation, these other characters refer to them as they, them. Now, in this clip, we're not going to watch the whole clip because it will definitely get claimed. In this clip, you will see that the, the way they're referring to this character as they, them, you would refer to anyone in singular, informal or formal, in the same way. There's no explanation for why they're calling them they, them. There's no preachy moment about non-binary people. There's no like PSA type stuff. There's none of that. It is simply a casual conversation. We're going to watch this very briefly. If they take this out, because they may very well force me to take this out, I'm going to explain after this clip what happened uh, for anybody who can't watch it if it gets removed. But if not, here we go. Let's watch the clip. They're still alive. We need to get them to the ship. We can save them. Forget it. Let them die. It's not worth the trouble. Okay, so there we go. If you missed the clip, um, they were casually referring to this uh, character on the ground as they. We can save them. We need to get them to the ship. Nothing in that statement and that conversation felt out of place for anyone who's just watching the show and may or may not know that the character is non-binary. So this idea that parents make sure you know what your kids are watching, they're after your kids, all of this dog whistly stuff that they do, it simply comes off as vapid and pointless because of the fact that they are not only referring these characters, I just used they, keep that in mind, they are using they, them in a way that could be referring to a non-binary person or a general informal uh, conversation about it, a singular person. There's nothing insidious about that. This whole idea has already been debunked about the they're coming after your kids thing. That's been debunked. It is a anti-queer thing. Like it's not real. And anybody in that space who actually cares about kids in any capacity, you need to call out the bad actors. You need to call out the people who are using this kind of language to, to, mar to make marginalized communities feel threatened. You need to call this out because there are actually people out there who are actively doing things to prevent any kind of issues with kids 
um, who are doing that work, they, this stuff gets kind of intermingled and interlocked with that because that's what libs of TikTok and all these people want is they want it to be this kind of confusing space. It's making it harder for people that are actually going after cases that are real. So we need to stop with this whole like, oh, they're doing something insidious simply because of this. This is laughable. But like, honestly, the fact that they would use this clip as an example, how fucking stupid. Here's another post on Twitter I want to talk about, and then I'm going to get my final thoughts on this. All right, this is kind of wild. I went to search this tweet, and it looks like the account associated with the tweet is gone. Doesn't exist anymore. So either they changed their name, I might be blocked. I don't think I am, because it looks like the tweet is completely gone. But here's a screen capture of the tweet. And this came out around the same time as the all the discourse with libs of TikTok. So it says, are pronouns essential to Star Wars? Green uh, circle, yes, it's a sign of progress. Red circle, no, modern fads add no value. Yellow circle, fans should debate pros and cons respectfully. There's nothing of value to come, after, come out of a post like this. It's just not. Uh, using pronouns are a part of language. It's something that we do. So what this is, is it's arguing whether or not we should be respectful to characters that are created who are non-binary, who could be trans. That's what this argument is. It's not a fad. This is not a fad. Like th This is a actual uh, change in culture and community that is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. So it's not a fad. So even arguing from that perspective seems a little ridiculous. Now, they did post, like, fans should debate pros and cons respectfully. I don't know if that's genuine or not. It seems like based on the replies that I saw from this account before this tweet was gone, it doesn't seem like the person actually really cared about respectful debate and conversation. Um, but the reality is that all of this pushback is simply a sign of people wanting to continue to oppress marginalized communities, especially if that clip from Libs of TikTok is what they're complaining about in the show. This is another morph situation. Originally, if you remember, Morph was, they were complaining about Morph in X-Men 97 because they were like, oh, they're going to do a whole non-binary episode. It's going to be a big thing. And that didn't happen. They just referred to Morph as they, them, and they moved on. And so a lot of the chuds, the anti-fandom accounts didn't know how to handle that. So they didn't, like, they didn't complain about it. So now they've moved on to simply the subtle conversation of referring to somebody as they, them is now a step too far. And this is how you know it's about extremes. It's about oppression. If you can't even have a character that gets referred to as they, them in a show without speeches, without any other stuff, that's all it is, and this is what causes outrage, then it's very clear what the issue is, and it is not referring to somebody as they, them. 